Hello and welcome to Give Us This Day. You know, we've been hearing a lot lately about the term mindset, not only through the sermons from Pastor Lauren, but also from our website and even from some of the Give Us This Day topics. And the mindset is really important because it's something that influences not just the way we process our thoughts, but also how our thoughts influence our decisions and the way that we live. I remember when my wife and I first came to Mount Zion and the challenge of mindsets was staring me right in the face. Our, our kids were young and we have two children. I call them kids even though they're both in their 30s now. But at the time, in my mind, I thought, well, if we raise them in a certain way, this is how they're going to turn out. And so with our first kid, I said, this is how it's going to be, this is what we're going to do, and this is how she'll grow up. And pretty much that came to pass. She's a rule follower like I am. She's a learner like I am. Um, she's opinionated like I am. But my way of thinking was my mindset. I thought, okay, then this works. Of course, then comes along kid number two. <laughs> and it took a little while, but after enough time, we realized he is not anything like the way that we thought. He's our learn by doing kid. And even though he was different, in my mind, I thought, man, why is this guy doing things the complete, seemingly opposite of the way that I thought? Well, in the end, what I had to be able to come to terms with was not that my kid was broken or there was something wrong with him. What was needing to be changed was something inside of me in the way that I saw things. Let me read something to you. In Ephesians chapter 1, the Apostle Paul is praying for the church, and he says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the wealth of his glorious inheritance in the saints. I remember reading that verse and all of a sudden realizing, okay, there's something here that he's telling me about my eyes of my heart. And the previous verse talks about praying for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So, the way I was thinking, it's not that it was good or bad. What it was was is it needed to be expanded. It needed to be enlarged. And ultimately, that allowed me to make room for when God wanted me to be able to trust him more than trust myself. And that's the way this challenge of the mindset works out in a practical way. We've got to be able to make room to know that, well, even though this isn't the way that I usually think, even though this isn't the way that I usually would uh, try to make things happen in my life, it's still gonna be okay because at the end, the results are not in my hands anyway. They're in God's. And I just have to be able to allow myself to make room in my thoughts, to not be so black and white, and not necessarily gray, but to be able to just have that place where when I'm unsure or I'm uncertain, I can trust God because his word says, he's gonna give me the eyes of my heart to be able to see things in a different way. So today, if you're in that place where you're trying to wondering, okay, what do I do with the way that I think and my mindsets that I have? I want to pray with you today that prayer, exactly as Apostle Paul said, to be able to open the eyes of our heart and our understanding. Father God, we just know that a word today, Lord God, is a word in season. Lord, and as we're being challenged with this way of thinking in our minds, Lord, we're believing for you to be able to open the eyes of our heart, not just of our mind, but Father God, to truly, Lord God, believe and trust that as you guide our steps, you're also guiding our choices and the way that we think and that we might become the people you've called us to be. Amen.